Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There's been a massive problem on FIFA 23 for about the past week or two. It's been very difficult to complete certain SBCs during shapeshifters because of the price of some cards on the market. And yesterday, EA released one SBC that completely solved the problem and crashed a lot of the market in the process. Yes, we have a lot to talk about in today's video and a lot to look forward to into Shapeshifters Team 3 coming out tomorrow. We're going to talk a lot about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Yesterday, let's talk about that first. We did have a good bit of content. We didn't see that one SBC that we were hoping for, that 92 plus. It didn't come out, but we had something even crazier. We'll talk about that. It all started with objectives. Another one of these kind of like free cards. We had the Quick Links card last week, right? This week we have Levi Lumika, I think is his name. A nice card at the very least, 94 rated fodder. I got it done by just playing a couple games of Rivals, and you probably will too. So, can't complain about those. It's nice to, you know, Silver stars was nice but it's nice getting these really high rated cards uh here at the end of the game just for playing a few games it's kind of just like a gift in that sense so i like that in yesterday sbcs as well we had a new sbc player josco gavardial shapeshifters center defensive mid card this was leaked a couple hours before content but we really had no idea that it was coming apart from that high high work rates four star five star that's a good card guys this is a really solid card he's just two shooting stats away from being club 90 in every single stat 90 or above you look at the in-game stats he's looking really good here as well and the best thing about it is the price 140,000 coins very craftable with only two squads required 85 percent upvote the only issue is it's tough to link right of course the croatian links in the bundesliga yes you can link him within cuckoo uh, but a lot of people like this card because of the price and again i'll say it would have been nice we talked about this on stream it would have been nice if he was a premium card it would have been of course the best option here but this is an sbc that if you have some extra cards you can get it done over the next six days that it's out and that's a nice one especially if you run a bundesliga team you know i'll say this it's been nice during shapeshifters that ea have been giving us options a lot of the different leagues have been represented you know, we had Sorloth from La Liga. We've got Gavardiol. We've had good value SBCs, apart from some of them, but good value SBCs for the most part on Shapeshifter side of things uh, from all the different leagues. So big W to EA. So not really much to complain about there with Gavardiol. If it doesn't fit your team, just move on. But if it does, that's a really, really solid card. Now, the big SBC is one that we're actually going to see re-released today again because it's here for the next 28 days and we get to do it every single day because it's on a 24-hour refresh timer. It is this one, the Tots or Tots Moments Upgrade SBC. And just wow, this is the SBC that really sent the game into the crazy mode that it now is in. Prices dropping across the entire market uh, because of this SBC. To start off with, just to go over this SBC and what it is, 87,000 coins for a tradable. That was the crazy thing yesterday when we saw this SBC. It is a tradable team of the season or team of the season moments card that you'll be getting from this pack. And yes, like I said, we can do it once every single day it's going to impact the market a lot over these next 28 days as we saw yesterday it's already started to do that but the price here is a bit much if you think about it but also if you think about it it's tradable you could pack somebody like uh neymar you could pack somebody like de bruyne ruben diaz mbappe uh veron a lot of people are packing some of these tots moments cards that are very expensive you're seeing prices on those drop like crazy we'll get into that so i think that's why ea priced this sbc where it is because if they made it too cheap and it was tradable then that would even mean worse things for the market but eighty thousand coins for a tradable tots card i wish that they also alongside of this would have released an untradable one that would have been like 25 or 30,000 coins that just like the team of the week upgrades, right? We have the tradable team of the week and the untradable. If we had a tradable and untradable TOTS SBC, that would have been great as well. But the reason why this solves the biggest problem on the game right now is TOTS card prices have dropped crazy amounts. Uh, guys, they've literally almost dropped um, like 60, 70% in price. These guys were 80,000 coins. Now they are under 30K for the cheapest TOTS cards in the game. And that makes so many more SBCs so much easier to complete. We knew that the TOTS cards were going to drop, right? We said it earlier in the week. It was the biggest problem on the game when these guys were 80K and we knew that they were going to drop. I did not expect EA to go ahead and do this though. They literally just opened the floodgates and said, hey, every day you get to pack a TOTS card that's tradable um, and gamble in a sense for that. But also uh, with that tradable supply, bringing the prices on TOTS cards across the entire game 
down so much. And this is good, right? This is good for all of us because this makes SBCs more affordable. Take a look at this. For the best example that I can show you, the Angolo Conte SBC yesterday, remember this price was like 1.5 mil? Yeah, when this SBC came out yesterday, it dropped all of the fodder prices so much. And not just like fodder because of Team of the Seasons, but since Team of the Seasons were getting packed and it was just pulling all the rest of the fodder market down with it, Conte went from 1.49, 1.5 mil to complete, all the way down to 1.2 million coins to complete. It looks a lot better when you look at it that way. It's still expensive, but take a look at high-rated fodder. Even the cards that are not affected really by being packed, uh, tradable in this SBC, Benzema was 38,000 coins. He's not getting packed from a TOTS upgrade pack, but with all Team of the Seasons dropping, on all different levels, above 91 rated and even below, Benzema is now down to 29,000 coins. So fodder dropped a lot yesterday on the top tier, kind of your 90, basically your 90s and above, dropped a bunch because of all of the TOTS cards that were just kind of squashing those prices back down because they were getting supplied. A lot of people might be asking, Nate, is this a chance to reinvest in TOTS cards because they were just 80K? Could they go there again? And guys, the answer to this is no. Just like with Team of the Weeks, I'm not looking to invest in those. I'm not looking to invest in TOTS cards really that much right now because every single day we are going to be able to do this SBC again. And maybe not everybody does it every day, but you have a tradable TOTS pack here that you know people can do every day to have a chance at packing a tradable Neymar, Mbappe, Messi, and just packing a tradable TOTS card um, regardless of who it is. And it's not that hard to complete. It's an 84 and an 85 rated squad. So yes, it's a little expensive, but it's not that tough. I mean, this is going to bring supply in every single day for TOTS cards on the market that are a fodder kind of realm and also the meta realm. So I'm not investing in these and really, you know, I'm not looking for those cards to rise that much apart from maybe some of the higher rated ones, maybe your 91s, 92s could rise up a little bit, but they're going to get hit with a wave of supply every single day. Now, the part of the market that's being impacted the most are your top tier meta cards, specifically the TOTS moments, which is kind of funny because the TOTS moments have been the problem makers, right? During this whole compensation season, it's the moments cards that caused the problem when that first TOTS upgrade SBC was released. Look at Neymar and look at Cristiano Ronaldo, just two of the most insane TOTS moments cards that have dropped down loads in value, right? Neymar's 4.3 million coins right now. Yesterday before this SBC dropped, he was 5.4 mil. He's down over a million coins. Cristiano Ronaldo is down over a million coins. He was like 4.7 mil yesterday, right? Cards like Hyunmin Sun have dropped literally in half. Tots moments seem to have somehow a much higher pack weight from this tradable pack from 240k down to 100k where Sonaldo was. He's back up a little bit. And guys, for a lot of these cards that are dropping, whether it's a team of the season or a team of the season moments, the team of the season moments again seem to be supplied a lot more. Their price drop-offs are a lot more extreme. I would be very careful trying to A, trade with these, and B, uh, trying to I mean, buy these for the team right now. I would not want to own a lot of these cards because they're probably going to get packed a good amount more today. But that goes for the entire market on all TOTS cards. Really what this is going to set off for the next two, three, four weeks, 28 days on this game is all TOTS cards are going to get packed and have an opportunity to get packed every single day. Now, some cards dropped off a good amount, but then kind of rose back up. Um, you know, one example for me was a card that I actually bought two of, Ruben Diaz. He's 400,000 coins right now. Yesterday when the SBC came out, he was 480k. He went all the way to 370. I bought two of them there, and I sold them just a little bit ago when he was like 420,000 coins, and he's now back to about 400k. These guys are going to fluctuate with the supply, especially if they're more rare, type of cards it does seem again like these team of the seasons that are higher rated they get packed a little bit and then of course they're still in demand so they kind of bounce back up and you're probably not going to see crazy drops in price every single day but of course today people are going to be expecting this sbc to bring more tradable supply back onto the market and guys like neymar guys like Varane, maybe renato sanchez they're probably going to have some sell-off today even into the 6 p.m content drop because people are going to expect that supply to be hitting the market. This is where it's really hurting the market the most right now, guys, are these team of the season cards, which you could argue that Shapeshifters really hasn't crashed too much of the TOTS market, which is pretty true. A lot of these guys are still maintaining pretty solid prices 
since they've left, um, since Ultimate Team of the Season, at least, for the cards that were re-released. And uh, this is, for me, kind of a sign of the end game as well. I think this SBC is also wild in a sense that it's really starting to reset the market. And when we have these new shapeshifters being pretty expensive and the most meta cards that EA wanted us to try out and to use in this game, these TOTS cards are still maintaining their prices pretty well, and they haven't dropped off yet like they did in previous years during Shapeshifters. This is the start of that for sure, uh, but it's not because new cards are out that people are selling and changing to that much. It's because they're getting supplied tradable on the market. So be very careful with these TOTS cards. It might be fun to quick flip with a couple of them like I did. Again, I bought two Ruben Diaz at 370. I bought a Bernardo Silva at 690. And I did buy a Mane at, uh, what is it, like 675 or something like that. So not really big profit margins here, just a little bit, but a kind of fun way to flip some cards with these fluctuating prices on this game. But guys, over the next 28 days that these cards are in, are in packs every single day, just be very careful trying to trade with and trying to buy Team of the Season cards because they are going to end up dropping for the most part because, again, there's new ones coming onto the market with supply every single day. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit more because into today on Thursday, we're kind of looking at shapeshifters, right? The new Impacts promo cards um, are actually looking at kind of investable. Last week with Team 1, we saw some really good rises, and that has me interested in some potential rises for Team 2 as well. If we take a look back at Team 1 of Shapeshifters, what cards rose the most? Um, Becker, as a center back, premium Shapeshifter card rose really well. Frankowski rose really well. So did Toko Akambi. These two guys, Frankowski and Toko Akambi, were probably impacted by Genduzi being the free card from the cup, right? Definitely helped them out a little bit. Becker, just overpowered and kind of a crazy card. And, and again, really good in game, as people do say. But it was a lot of those low tier cards that did really well. I'm not saying that Shapeshifters Team 2 is going to absolutely explode in price and it's a 100%. You must invest in these cards right now. But I'm looking at guys like um, maybe Giroud, maybe Cabrera, Zaha. I think Zaha is the 100% most popular card in this Team 2 of Shapeshifters. And he's got the most games played. If you go on Footbin, right, where we just were in the squad, you can click on each card individually and see how many games played. Uh, and that is calculated by, I believe, Footbin takes the number of cards that are on the market, all the number of games that have been played with these cards, and it adds them up. So it's not a 100% realistic um I guess, way to interpret demand. But you can also just kind of know, right? If you look at the popular players list every single day on uh, Footpin, you can see what players are near the top all the time. Zaha, near the top, just about all the time. Uh, and he's one of the cards in packs. Giroud, one of the more popular cards in this promo as well. You know, De Young, Ochoa, Richarlison, Neuer, Adiemi. So you can kind of use some of those things to try to decide. And this is what we kind of work out during the year as well. What promo cards have the best potential to rise out of packs? Let me just show you this, right? Zaha has 52,000 games played in this team. 52,000 games. The next closest, I think, I was just clicking through all these guys. I think Giroud is the next closest at 33,000. Zaha is going to be the most popular investment this week, which of course does mean there is potential for him to be overinvested. But I think today on Thursday brings an opportunity today and tomorrow, the two probably best days to watch out for investment opportunities on these cards. Zaha was at his lowest earlier this week when he was 190,000 coins. If he goes below 200k today on Thursday with rivals rewards, with marquee matchups coming out and providing some tradable supply, I don't think he's going to stay too much lower than that. I like Raquel May. I like Adiemi and uh, I kind of like Carrera, Cabrera as well just because he's kind of a alternate La Liga goalkeeper of course he doesn't have the greatest of links but he is a premium card so he does actually have really good links and a lot of people may be tired with Neuer um, and you know boom those are some good La Liga links right there with him and he's just a center back move to goalkeeper is just kind of crazy and I think he's actually pretty cracked in game so that might be a good card you try to pick up. He's one of the cheapest 91s in the game as well. And watch for these cards to dip a little bit today or tomorrow on Friday and be really good investment potential as we head out of packs for this Team 2. And speaking of Team 2 going out of packs, Team 3 is going to be coming into packs tomorrow on Friday. Hopefully we get some news about that today. Last week on Thursday, we started to get some leaks for who was going to be in the next team of shapeshifters, um, whether we've got icons coming with that. Again, I would hope so. There's still some icons that we need to see some special promo cards for. Wow, De Young is very low, 1.81. That's the lowest that I've seen him in a 
long time. Uh, but watch out for those leaks today. Maybe a loading screen. Last week, it was um, pretty quiet on like the leak front. We only had a couple cards that were posted from Foot Sheriff, and he posted them like right after content. So we'll see if that sort of thing happens again this week. But maybe a quiet day of content on Thursday again today. The only things to watch out for, refresh the 84 times 10 and a refresh of that tradable team of the season pack once again. Now, one last thing I'll say about that TOTS pack is the fodder, right? Fodder actually didn't really go up that much for it. 83s are about 1.2K, so they're up a little bit. 84s up a little bit. 85s up just a little bit because it's an 84 and 85 rated squad inside of that SBC, right? But really, it was just a slow rise. It wasn't like that massive of a spike. We can only do the SBC one time per day. So maybe 83s go up a little bit today. Um, again, maybe to 1.5K or something like that with that SBC refreshing. But I wouldn't see the rises there to be that crazy. More so, I think, today with Rivals and with the marquee matchup supply, they've been giving out a 50K pack of marquee matchups every week. Uh, throwback marquee matchups, right? That could bring some supply to the market on the Shapeshifter cards from Team 2 and maybe some of the fodder as well. So we'll watch out for more leaks and information with Team 3. That is the last week of Shapeshifters, guys. Team 3, the last week. Other than that, no new objectives. I don't think we're getting any new XP today. I think that will be tomorrow on Friday um, when we'll have Shapeshifters, maybe Shapeshifters 4 objective uh, dropped. We have Shapeshifters 3 right now, so maybe we'll get another one of those tomorrow. And if we get another 10k XP, that'll take us all the way to potentially getting level 40, which I think would be way too early. Uh, but a one of five shapeshifters, is it, what is it? Where's that pick at? Level 35? A one of five shapeshifters player pick. This is not that far away. This will be attainable for sure on Friday. That's going to be something very interesting um, to be able to open up later on this weekend so that's going to be the video for me today uh, guys that tots pack yesterday was crazy i'm being very careful trading on the market probably not going to do too much with these tots cards but it'll be interesting to see where these prices go throughout the next couple of days and i would say this if you've got cards in your team that are team of the seasons that are tradable that yes have dropped in value that haven't dropped in value a ton yet maybe it's from you know kavicha who's down just a little bit Leao, osim and dibala those guys i would just say the same thought right now is unless you don't care and you're just playing for the end game and you want to use the cards that you don't that you want to use which is great they probably will be devalued because they're just going to get packed slowly over and over every single day throughout this week throughout next week and the weeks to come with that tots upgrade pack so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nathfoot account see you guys on stream today peace out